All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is April 13th. We've got a few MLB plays coming your way in today's video. Normally, you know, obviously we're in hotels, so normally the videos look and sound a little bit better. Um, we're going through each and every game on the slate. Today, because it's more of an abbreviated video, a quicker video, we just have three plays coming your way. Uh, two player props as well as a team total. And if I add anything else, it'll be in the pinned comment. In terms of last night, four and O sweep. The three plays from the video, and then we added Ellery Montero, um, over 0.5 hits, he had two hits yesterday in five at bats, so we love to see that. But yeah, Reds in the first five, they cashed. Um, our Nerfy cashed as well as well as our player prop, Gunnar Henderson, which I saw the comments. People were like, oh man, this guy's taking Gunnar Henderson. He's probably gonna hit a home run today. Zero hits for Gunnar Henderson, so we love to see it. A 4-0 sweep, we also swept in the NBA, uh, which is back-to-back -back NBA sweeps for us, so you know what? Maybe these short, uh, quick videos are the way to go. Um, but no, if you guys are new here, usually we do go through each and every game on the slate. I give you my lean on the side, give you my lean on the total, talk about any other plays like player props that we like within the game, but we're on the when we're on the road or in a hotel or you know recording under different circumstances, we do kind of just uh, make more of an abbreviated video versus taking the day off, if that makes sense. But nonetheless, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's try and sweep back to back here just like we did in the NBA. Starting off with a player prop here, and I'm looking at Jose Sari over 0.5 hits. You can get that for minus 130 over on FanDuel. Um, it's That's by far the best price out there now. This is actually a minus 140 and beyond play on most sports books. I still don't mind it at minus 140, but you got to consider price once you get to that point, right? Um, but minus 130 still definitely definitely something that we can uh, handle here and he's at this nine of his last 14 games he's at 11 hits um, or 14 games this year he's at 11 hits through the year and he's going up against right-handed pitcher today all 11 of his hits have been against a right-handed pitcher and Logan Webb is his matchup and Logan Webb loves throwing the curveball Jose Suri not necessarily this year I think he's like a 250 average against curveballs this year but it's a smaller sample size last year he bad 348 against uh, change up. So uh, I do love the spot from, you know, one, all of hits against right-handed pitcher. Well, he's facing a right-handed pitcher today. And then that pitch in general, he has crazy good successes. It was his best pitch that he hit last year. Um, and, you know, I, I mentioned him against right-handed pitcher. His average jumps up to 230. So it's not like we're getting a guy that's batting 350 against lefties or righties or lefties or anything like that, right? But we are getting a guy that, technically speaking, batted nearly 350 against righty changeups last year. So hopefully that's the case again uh, today because that'll result in probably one hit through four at-bats, you know what I mean? Um, but even if he kind of sticks to his current uh, record here in terms of his average against righty changeups, he's batting, like I said, right around 250, which is 20 points above his normal average against righties. And if he gets four at-bats, he should be able to get one hit, um, seeing a bunch of changeups. Uh, so pick number one, Jose Sri over 0.5 hits. We're definitely kind of targeting that matchup versus uh, the, the the trend. Even though he's hit it in nine of his 14 games here, uh, you know, I, I still think that this is much like... If if he doesn't see, say he sees zero changeups, then this pick is chucked. Um, I'm really targeting uh, that pitch. But pick, pick number one, going to be Jose Suri over 0.5 hits here. Moving on to pick number two, um, we're going to look at another player prop. Kark Schmidt, uh, under four and a half strikeouts, minus 120 over on bet MGM. I just don't necessarily see this being a huge spot for him when it comes to strikeouts. He's hit that once this season um, in his two starts. He faced Houston, struck five out. Um, so even when he has hit it, it was just on the hook. When he lo when he didn't hit it against Toronto, he also won on the hook as well. He hit it. He hit four strikeouts here. But this is a spot um, in which he's going to throw a lot of cutters. And again, we're kind of focusing on pitches here but he's a cutter slider and sinker pitcher he'll mix in the curveball plenty as well but if it comes to cutter and sinkers two of his top three pitches against this cleveland lineup i just don't necessarily see um uh strikeout spots against them and throw in the fact that you know by the way this is a really really good cleveland offense against um righties when it comes to strikeouts just striking out at 18.8 percent uh, i see a path where he gets you know maybe he pitches five innings but he strikes out less than one per inning and ends right around four strikeouts so kind of hoping for that do I wish this line was at five and a half no kidding who wouldn't want a better line um, but I think that, that would be an absolute lock and a half we can get that at uh, nine and a half so he has 28 plate appearances against this Cleveland Guardians roster, the current guys on the team. 10.7% uh, K rate, 462 average, an expecting av expected average of 333, a WOBA of 453. So this shouldn't be a spot in which uh, you know he's fanning guys or even getting guys to swing and miss in the first place. And then you throw in the fact how Cleveland has been against righties on the season. I think this one gets the job done today. Clark Schmidt under four and a half strikeouts here at minus 120. Now we move into our team total. Um, 
Um, this is almost, you know, in baseball you can view progression or regression. Like I think that this is more of a like like uh, the Diamondbacks one. They're kind of trending to this and and doing it, um, but overall like in a bounce back spot here. Um, Due to the fact that you know they their offense they scored six runs yesterday and if they do that again today fine they catch us right but you look at that and you say oh wow they had six runs the offense looked good right it didn't they had six runs and I think it was like the fifth or sixth inning so they only had one inning out of nine innings by the way that's how much they play in baseball one inning where they scored runs uh, so this offense definitely has some. Uh, good spots on the season, but they've also had a couple dry spells. I think going up against Kyle Gibson today uh, is going to be a good spot for them overall. Uh, he his his earned run line right now is two and a half like normal, but it's super 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 juiced to the over like minus one sixty. So even the books are telling you that through five innings, um, the Diamondbacks should score three runs. Right. So if you want to look at maybe their first five line, I don't hate that either. I just think that they're able to also get to this bullpen, which um, I'm not going to say it's a bad bullpen, but overall. All this bullpen's been kind of uh, mediocre uh, in in general. Um, in terms of their ranking, ERA and WHIP wise, thirteenth in terms of ERA. Okay, that's not great, not bad though. Um, but their WHIP down near the bottom ten percent or bottom ten team, so that isn't all that great there. I think they have a bullpen WHIP of one point three five, and most guys should be good to go in their pen today, so it should be a predictable spot here. But like I said, team total over four and a half there for minus one ten over on ESPN. If you like their first five team total or something like that, I don't necessarily mind that either. I think you're going to be paying a little bit of juice or getting a line that's a little bit too high. In fact, as we look at it, let me uh, let me see if I can pull up very quickly their their team total in the uh, the first five here. Uh, Diamondbacks team total first five as we record just looking it up is two and a half. So if you like that, I like that spot. Um, I would definitely take that over the Kyle Gibson earned run because why wouldn't you just take the two and a half there? So maybe we pivot. We'll update you in the pin comment. Maybe we take both of these or split a half unit, you know, quarter unit on each. But uh, Diamondbacks team total over four and a half. I think this is a, a bounce back sort of spot in a pitching matchup where uh, they have a little bit of an edge here overall. But uh, guys, it's going to wrap it up for the video. Like I said, quick, abbreviated, probably not as much information as you're used to getting in these videos, but nonetheless, hope you guys do appreciate Appreciate us doing videos on the road. Comment road, R-O-A-D, spelling bee champ. If you guys are watching this um, and you made it this far into the video, I always love seeing who makes it to the end of the videos, especially in these videos where they're sort of the, the different alternate type videos. But we'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.